So we'll be doing a technique where we're spreading down the urinary bladder jingjin, especially focusing on the erector spinae muscle group. This is a really nice technique to do for many instances, but especially after working with the Wato Jaji points and working with vertebral fixations, if they're spinal offsets, because we're taking the patient into a sagittal plane movement and that length created in the spine as they're rolling forward especially if it's a functional type scoliosis, we'll start to straighten the vertebra as we're going through the erector spinae and loosening up any areas where the erector spinae are bunched. So first thing is we want to coach the patient through the movement because we're going to be spreading through the erector spinae as they do this movement. So the first thing they're going to do is let the chin down. And then as much as possible, you need to look at the patient. As much as possible, you want them to kind of go piece by piece vertebra by vertebra going into flexion and they're going to roll down let your arms hang down by your side and roll down and you're watching looking that is individual movement and not just like a section of three four five or six vertebra moving into moving as one you want that individualized movement and they can go all the way down just let your arms relax and hang all the way down all the way down especially looking at the lumbar spine so that they're going into flexion there once they're down, then they can settle the weight back on their behind and they start to stack. So they stack, get the weight set, not, not too quickly there. Stack, so you want to have the movement come piece by piece back up, back up, lift the chest, and then the head comes last. So it starts with the head, piece uh, vertebra by vertebra down. Yep. And then when they come back up, then they're going to stack from the bottom all the way to the top. All right, so you can do this with both hands simultaneous or one hand at a time. Both hands is nice, but sometimes it's good to guide the patient by working on one side while you're guiding them. It depends on their ability to do this well. First thing they're going to do is make sure they're solid in their feet. They can even give a little teeny push back into their feet so that they can support the weight that I'm pushing in, kind of balance the weight. Now the head goes. And she's just pulling me through the rector spinae. So I'm lengthening. I'm looking for balance movement. Let the left shoulder go a little bit more. There we go. That's good. So with men, you can just go straight down. With women, you might have to readjust. Stop for a moment there. Have them stop the movement. Sink in before they start going into flexion. There you go. Now as they go into flexion. You're spreading through the erector spinae. Arms relax. Okay, hold. I'm just going to bring this up for a second. Hold upright for a, a moment. So I want to sink in, push back against me with the feet. There we go. Good. And now keep on going forward. And let that left shoulder go a little bit more. There we go. Good. All right, now you can help them as they stack. So behind settles first, a little bit more weight here. There we go, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. A lot of people want to come instantly up with the head. I'm going to do this incorrectly for a second. A lot of people want to start coming up here first, but we want them to stack first to get the support. Stack, chest up, and they're in a neutral position.